going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through a few pieces I recently got from Boohoo. What's up everyone? My name's Dylan. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. So I want to start off by saying Happy New Year to everyone and I hope you all had an amazing New Year and an amazing Christmas if you do celebrate Christmas. Let's all crush it this year in 2019. I'm sending you all loads of love, loads of blessings and I hope you achieve and receive everything you want in life this year. So in this video, I'm going to take you through some pieces I recently got from Boohoo. The delivery actually only came this morning, but I ordered it yesterday. They've got really good free next day delivery at the moment. So I got all these pieces, quickly put them onto the rack, and I thought, let's just film a haul and get it on. We'll do a little try on haul so you can see what they look like on, and I'll give you a little bit of background on how I'd probably style the pieces and why I bought the pieces. So let's get into it. Okay, so let me just give you a little bit of background about Boohoo quickly. Boohoo is an online store. They have Boohoo, which is mainly female clothes, and they have Boohoo Man, which does a lot of man's clothes. And they have a massive range. Their clothes are really, really trendy and really on style. P.S. This video is not sponsored. All this stuff was bought by me. Um, so yeah, the clothes are really um, trendy. The, the prices are ridiculously low. Like, you can get stuff for super cheap. I got all of this stuff here for like £160 and there's probably like 11 pieces here, including like two or three jackets, when jackets are usually really expensive. Their price is really good and really low and they have really on-trend pieces. Now the thing with Boohoo is their quality isn't like the top, top like you're gonna get with other brands. And a lot of people would speak to me and say, oh, the Boohoo quality is not great, but for the price that you're paying, you're not gonna, you shouldn't really expect amazing quality like your Ralph Lauren's or your designer brands because you're paying a lower price. Okay, so the first piece I'm gonna to talk to you about is this piece that I'm currently wearing right now. I quickly got an outfit change. Um, it's just like a plain black long sleeve t-shirt. This isn't a size small, I normally wear medium and I got this in a small because they didn't have medium in stock. And I'm actually glad I got a small because it's quite, um, I don't think it's meant to be oversized, but it's like an oversized fit, it's quite a cozy fit, which I don't mind actually because I'm probably gonna be layering this under stuff. So it's like quite a loose fit and it's really nice and comfy. And it's got like a little bit of design here on the hem. So like the black back of the t-shirt is longer than the front, just to give you that little bit of a long line look on the back. But overall it's a pretty cool t-shirt, it's pretty nice. I'll link all the pieces that I'm showing you guys in this video in the description below so that if you do want to purchase them, you can. But overall, I think it's a nice t-shirt, nice um, base layer to have when you're putting things over the top, which I'm about to do in a second. It's really good. You can throw like shirts and jackets and jumpers and everything over the top. And it's just that good, good base layer that you need. Okay, so the next piece I'm going to talk to you about is this gold bomber jacket right here. Now, when I was on the website, this really caught my eye because this jacket just looks so dope. I really love this like gold beige type colour. And it's got some really cool detailing on it as well. So it's like a standard bomber jacket, but it's got like on the sleeves here, on the front of the sleeves, you can see the zip detailing going down here, which is pretty dope. It's very unique. You've got a man logo here on the chest, and you've also got some zip de detailing on the other side to match the other sleeve as well. Then on the back, you've got the man logo, and you've got this pocket, which is just for design, unless you're gonna reach all the way around and put something in that pocket, which I highly doubt. I won't recommend because you probably get robbed, but it's a really, really cool jacket. It's so nice and the color just really stands out. And like if you wear this, like I said before about this t-shirt being a base layer, you can throw this jacket over the top and with the black t-shirt, this jacket's really gonna pop and it's really gonna stand out. So for this, like for the price point of this jacket and how much you're paying, it's really, really good. Like you, it looks like a really high quality and really nice design jacket for a really great price. So unique and the colour is just amazing. You can wear this colour this time of the year. You can also wear it in summer. It's gonna look dope with like a t-shirt or something underneath. It's gonna really pop when the sunlight hits it. Okay, so next up I'm gonna talk about another jacket. Now this jacket is one, probably one of my favourite, if not the favourite piece, which I got from Boohoo. I saw it on the website and I've really been wanting a really dope puffer jacket for ages. And this puffer jacket is amazing. Like, firstly, it feels really high quality. It's super thick. And I really love this taping, like the man taping all over it because it's just a little bit something different and something unique. But it's a really great puffer jacket. It's going to keep you warm and you're going to be able to create some dope street style outfits with this. So let me show you guys what it looks like on. This is once again in a size medium. It's like quite big for a medium, but I like to, I want it oversized because I'm going to layer like thick sweats and thick hoodies underneath this. So I need that little bit of room to be able to layer underneath. But if you normally wear a medium, I'd probably go for a small because it is a little bit big compared to what a normal medium would be. But you can see like such a sick jacket. The quality feels really good. It feels like it's thick, it doesn't feel cheap. And it's gonna definitely keep you warm because it's really, really thick and padded. Definitely one of my favorite cops from the Boohoo. Oh. 
Okay, so now we have another jacket. This is the third jacket and the final jacket from the Boohoo haul. And this is a really, really nice jacket. It's a really cool jacket for fall and winter. It's like your three quarter overcoat type jacket with like a Borg faux fur lining. Super nice, you've got like this brown color with the white and it just contrasts really well and looks so dope. The problem with this jacket and the problem I find with so many faux fur jackets is this fluff all transfers everywhere. Literally like I've got a black top on now and I'm gonna put this jacket on to show you guys. But this jacket, literally all of this fur is gonna end up on my top and it's just gonna be like white fur everywhere which is so annoying and I've not yet like figured out a way to stop that. One thing I have thought of but I haven't tried, maybe I'll do a video on it, is to like hoover the jacket. Maybe if I can hoover like all the excess fur off then it won't stick to everything. But other than that, it is a really dope jacket. But the problem is if you wear it with black, it's just gonna ruin your black clothes. So, ah, oh, I shouldn't have done this. I don't know why I'm doing this, but. So look, it looks sick. Wear it, it's all good. But just wear it for a little while and you're gonna end up with white, your black top and black jeans or whatever you're wearing. and gonna end up turning black. Okay, so next up we have this shirt that I'm currently wearing. And you might have seen this, it's quite a, like a big trend at the moment. It's like velvet shirts. And they look pretty dope, like when the light and stuff hits it and they feel really cool. And like when the light hits it, it like gives off that sparkle and like a little shiny look. So this is an actual velvet, this is faux velvet, but it's, I really like this like a wine type colour. So the shirt fits really well, like on the shoulders, sleeves and stuff, but I don't know if it's like a little... Come fly with me, let's fly, let's... I can't see my stomach. It's, um, I, I think that's the only thing that I'm a bit concerned about. The shirt might be a tiny bit short, maybe like only a little bit, maybe like that much. But I might keep it anyway. Um, I'll have to decide. But it's a really nice shirt. The velvet like looks really cool when the light hits it. And for the price, I really can't complain. And then once again, it's a size medium and it fits pretty true to size other than that little bit of length. Okay, so the next piece is this beige sweat that I'm wearing. It's just a plain beige sweat, like a beigey stone type color. The reason I got this is once again for layering purposes. So I probably wouldn't wear something like this on its own, but you can layer it up really cool and make it look so dope. So like maybe if I chucked it under this puffer jacket, which I bought with like some beige trousers, it's gonna look really cool. So this piece is just like one of those basic staple pieces to have in your wardrobe, so that when you do layer up, it will help to make your outfit look a lot cooler. So this is like a size medium, the fit's really good, fits well along the shoulders and arms. It's not like an oversized fit, it's quite a tailored fit, which I was surprised about because most sweats normally come in an oversized fit but it's all good for me, like it doesn't really bother me because it's just gonna be under stuff. It's pretty thick, pretty warm, and for the price point, you can't really complain. Once again, it's in a size medium. So now the last top from this haul is this hoodie right here, which once on the website, it looked a lot better, and now I've got it in person, I'm not really feeling the hoodie. It's like, um, I don't know if this is, I think it's that like PU leather or something it's called, it's like faux leather hoodie, and on the website, it looked really cool. But in person, it's just not, it doesn't look that great. It looks really tacky and it looks cheap and it feels cheap as well. So I'm probably gonna return this item. I'll show you guys what it looks like on anyway. But yeah, not really feeling this one. It looks a bit like a shiny bin bag. So probably gonna return this, but I don't know. Some of you might like it. Not everyone has the same taste, but that's not really my kind of thing. So sending that one back. So that's all for the tops and jackets. The next thing I'm gonna take you guys through is four pairs of trousers, which I got from Boohoo. So the first pair that I'm gonna to talk to you about, probably my favorite pair out of the four, is these right here. Now Boohoo do these um, joggers, which actually look really like smart trousers. So these look like pretty smart trousers when you wear them and they're really dope. Like I wanted some trousers like this with the pattern, but also the stripe down the side for ages. And these have got a really nice pattern and they've got that white stripe just that I was looking for. But they're joggers, so like they're super, super comfy. But when you wear them, people won't be able to tell they're joggers because they, they look exactly like trousers. So here you've got something that looks amazing, but is also super com comfy. Probably my favorite pair of trousers from the four. Once again, this is, a, I'm, I'm normally like a 30 waist, but they, the 30 waist was sold out. So I had to get these in a 32, which is a size medium. Okay, so the next pair of trousers are these black trousers which are also, these are in a size small, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, so these are in, they didn't come in a size small, but they're 30 waist. So these are 30 waist, and I'm actually, when I saw these on the website, they look really dope, but now that I've got them, I'm not really feeling them, to be honest. They're just, they're like your plain black trousers, and they've got like this combat design on them with like the pockets down here with the zip, same on both legs. 
But to be honest, I think they just look like standard trousers. They're nothing special. So I'm probably going to return these ones. I'm not really feeling them. I mean, I will link them in the description below because some of you might like them. And they're cool trousers to have. Like they're super comfy as well. You've got like the rope to tie it around your waist and you, like it's like the combat joggers type material. So it's like a nice casual pair of trousers, but I'm just not feeling them. So I'm going to send these ones back. Okay, so the next two trousers I'm going to show you guys are both exactly the same trousers, but in different colors. So they are these trousers here, which are like cord trousers. So they've got like the cord material on, as you can see, and they've got this white stripe down the side of the trouser, which is really cool. And they're also cropped. Now these trousers, I'm like 50-50 on them at the moment. I'm not sure whether I like them or whether I don't like them. The only thing that's kind of putting me off is that they're kind of baggy around the ankles and I don't like my trousers too wide and baggy around the ankles. But the rest of the trousers is pretty cool, like the length's good, the design and stuff's really dope and it's something you could probably wear in winter and in summer. So I've got them in like this maroon colour here, which is like a nice colour and it's like a whiny type colour. Once again you've got the drawstring at the waist. And I've also got them in this beige colour. Now this beige colour is a colour that I'm really liking for fall and winter. So it's, the trousers are exactly the same. We've got the cord design with the white stripe down the side, cropped with the drawstring, but I'm not sure whether to keep the beige ones or whether to keep the maroon ones. Leave me a comment down below on which ones you think are better, the maroon ones here or the beige ones here. I'm 50-50 at the moment. I'm not sure which ones to keep. So that's all from this video. I've taken you through all the pieces which I got from Boohoo recently. And as I said before, if you want to shop any of these pieces, I'll link them all in the description to this video. If there's any topics or concerns or anything you'd like me to do videos on, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to put something together for you all. I'd love to have some topic suggestions and video ideas of stuff that would help you guys. If this is your first time visiting my channel or if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the button down below so that you subscribe to my channel and you get instant notifications on all my new videos. You can also check me out on social media at Style by Dylan on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, all my handles are Style by Dylan and I also have my blog at www.stylebydylan.com. So until next week, peace!